was supposedly taken over by aliens and self-driving. And they did not use remote control to drive the mule. What they actually did, something easier, they lifted the mule up 12 inches and a driver was hidden between the bed and the undercarriage. You know what, let me, let me have someone who was actually there tell you how they did it. If you guys ever seen the movie called Maximum Overdrive, um, the guy working today was just telling me about this is the owner of this uh, surplus store owns this. This is actually used in the movie right here. And uh, it's actually the owner right there on the TV, but he talks about it here in the video. It looks like it's the mule, also called the leader. So if you guys remember the 80s movie, I think it was in the 80s, late 80s. There it is right there. Well, that's it right above there. Well, anyways, that's the video. So if you guys are coming here and you can watch the video, I'm gonna tell you about it. Guys, it's really bright out here, but we are at the Rockford Army uh, surplus right behind me. And I've actually already gone inside and checked everything out. Um, I already filmed for you guys. So I just wanted to give you a little intro, but we're here. And uh, this was Angel Survival's doing. She mentioned seeing the surplus store. So uh, here we are, we are at Rockford Army surplus in Rockford, Illinois. Enjoy the show guys. Okay, we are in the building. A little collection of canteens up here, and if you see that one right there, that's the USGI cold weather canteen. Extremely rare. It is not for sale. We'll come on down here. Got some kids stuff over here. But uh, right here. We got helmets, knee pads, flags. Got all kinds of hats right here. Got your German hats. Let's see, 898. This place has some really cool stuff. Let's walk on over here. Got more boonie hats there. We're gonna get to the cool stuff. So here we got a bunch of canteen sets. Got your Swiss, USGI two quarts. Got an Arctic canteen cup there. USGI canteen cup. We got some of these here. I think these are, oh, it's a, I'm not sure what one this is. It's an original military one, US military, or like a Chinese one. We got all your pouches down here. Oh, we got a couple of canteens in here. What are those going for? $39.98. That's not too bad. Then down here, we got a check. We got a Hungarian. Here's a Hungarian mess kit. $14.98. That's not bad at all. And then we got the Yugoslavia mess kit. $19.98. That's not bad at all either. We got some US military trays. You got the original, original ones here. I think these, are, these might be a later one. These are melamine, yeah. It's a melamine one. Oh. Got your wool blankets down there. Got your military socks up here. Got a cool little stretcher up there. I'm gonna try and go through the store, uh, not too quick, but quick enough because there's people in here and stuff. So, all right, here we go. Got some Vietnam era bladders. I don't have any of those yet. What do you got on here? 20 bucks, it's not bad. Got some more there. Some off-brand surplus stuff packs. Then, got a bunch over here. Yeah, I'd just be quiet here. Got CFP 90. Got your ILB or LBE packs, Marine Corps. You got some more down there, FILB. This one here is really interesting. This is British, I'm pretty sure. That's some British DPM type camo, desert camo. 
Yeah, it's British. Pack Modular Desert DPM. 124.98. Here's some generic Rothko, probably. Alice packs. You got some Alice packs here, some real ones. And the frames. What are the frames going for? I'm kind of curious. 50 bucks. <laughs> 49.98. Yeah. That stuff's just not cheap anymore. I'm not sure what this is. It's interesting. What's this? Pack Alice GI WDL Grade 1. Oh, it's just the top part of a Alice pack. Got our seal line bags here. Four ninety eight. I might pick one of these up. That's really cheap. Okay. All of our boot section over here. Say it's helicopter. Just boots galore. <laughs> Got this cold weather uh, canteen carrier here. Well, there's Michael Survival. You having fun in the store, buddy? I sure am. <laughs> thanks for the uh, thanks for the birthday gifts. Buddy. You're welcome. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. It's Michael Survival's birthday. That's why we're here too. <laughs> we both like surplus. Okay, check this out. Got some snowshoes, some pretty rare ones. And these are not very rare. These are magnesium U.S. military snowshoes, but these are a little more rare to find here. These are. No shoe bindings. I'm not sure if these are US military or British. You guys will let me know. Check this out here. We got some. This is the German stuff right here. Check it out. German winter suit. It's not the poncho set, it's the set with the legs. The trousers, I mean to say. What is that? $74.98. That's a nice set though. Very nice. Okay, so here's what I was talking about in my last video. Here's some rare looking Mickey boots. I forgot what these are, but they had that on, I don't know if they're like a dud or what, but. See the sign there. Yeah, I just I think that's a rarer one. I'm not sure what that's about. So there's those. Got more boots over here. More boots. Got all your Mickey and your bunny boots here. You've got some mucklucks down here. I have a pair of those. I'll have to get some sometime. Then we got some bunny boots that are real white. They're not the yellowish color, so that's that's uh never seen like that. Interesting. Just galores of clothing. <laughs> More clothing over here. I'm trying to get people in here and so. Got the uh, awesome Desert Night camo pants. I have the parkas here, but I just don't, don't have my size. Got some British DPM there. But you'd like those, Andy. You're watching, buddy. Desert Night Camo. All kinds. I mean, it just goes on and on. Back around here. 
<laughs> All right, let's go around this aisle here. You guys are gonna see the whole store. Just more clothing, tons more. Chocolate chip camo, uh, commando sweaters. Poncho liners and M65 liners. Here we got a snow. These are pretty rare. Here, these are the um, M65 filled white liner. They're the white ones. Those are pretty rare to find. And then more clothing. <laughs> Just this place is loads of stuff. Wait till we get. Wait till we get over here. I'll show you some rare clothing they have. It's got some West German stuff. Got your Swiss tanker outfit here. Okay, over here, we got some Marine Corps fill tarps. They're pretty expensive. I think they're overpriced anywhere you find them. Got some Marine Corps uh, Tremor sleeping pads there. A light fighter one right here. That's going for two seventy eight. Okay, that's one side of the store. Let's go check out the other side. Okay, here's the other half of the store. We got some USGI white snow cover mittens there for your the big USGI mitts. And then here, a ton of winter accessories your helmet liners to even German German helmet or German covers there for your head got your bear mittens or trigger mittens there got your Marine Corps mittens I got a pair of these what are these going for 60 bucks Back here, got more and more and more gloves. Got your Air Force gloves. I think those are Melee gloves there. Too much to choose from. Okay, check this out. I'll take you over here. Look at this. See it? Got this. <laughs> That's pretty rare. Look at the price on this. One ninety nine ninety eight. It's a West German blouse top. I think these might be border guard tops. I'm not totally for sure, but yeah, these things are uh, very, very rare. It's got their almost the East German raindrop pattern in it. Very nice. Can't afford it. <laughs> got all the cool gas masks up there. And then here we got some more canteens. Got a Chinese one here. Or Vietnamese, one of the two. Got some of the old Vietnam era. They're actually, yeah, 1965 shovels. 70 bucks for that bad boy. German gas, or uh, gas mask, German. I'd like to get one of those. Here you go. Got your uh, SKS pouch or uh, Chitcom uh, chest rigs here. Here's a German style hat here. We got some of the old uh, German or not German but American uh, canteen pouches, canvas. I don't know if that's a reproduction or what. The old ones, you know, they didn't have the molly on it. I guess my hook and loop thing. Here's the original, original, same thing there. Okay. 
Now your mask over here. Got some real military ones here, I believe. The Rothko there. Nice. Okay, check this out. This is a, a check vest here. I like to get one of these. Kind of pulled out there. I just saw one handed. And on this other side here, we got more clothing. Got some more of the British DPM Desert. And I saw some pretty rare stuff in here as well. They have the reversible uh, Desert Night camo right here with the uh, DCU. And those are pretty rare to find as well. Pretty pricey these days. Be nice to have one day. Got some uh, German Simtex. Their, their Gore-Tex material uh, bibs right there. I do want a case MREs? Yeah, just okay. a so those are the And then we got all the military stuff there. there. GI you want the GI issue ones? Yeah. yeah. Okay, we're in the middle aisle now. So all your ropes and stuff. Paracord. I thought this was really cool. I kind of want to get one. That's a coffee mug, but canteen shaped. <laughs> that was pretty neat. Got webbing over here. Kinds of different type of high speed gear, your buckles. Belts over here. I just loaded stuff, guys. All pouches and grenade pouches. These grenade pouch. Yeah, that's the us Eagle Industry dual grenade pouch. That's not a bad price. Yeah. Oh, Do-it-yourself projects here, you know. Oh yeah, that'd be kind of nice to get for 11.98. Pretty sweet. Let's go around the corner here. Get more stuff here. Got your flashlights. And then these are pretty rare too. These are the military uh, uh, inline filters. You don't see too many of those either. Those are pretty rare. Man, got a little everything. Your little diamond stones. They might be some kind of nice pickup too. Man, we got more pouches over here. Just loaded with stuff. Might be a. Hey, that no, it's not a statement pouch. I thought it was a statement pouch. Even got some DPM shovel pouches here. I think these are Alice, uh, Alice bag liners. You got like your IFAT kits, fully loaded, everything in it. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Uh, I'm not sure the expiration date is on it, but pretty cool. Hope you guys are having fun. We're like kids in a candy store, right? <laughs> now, I thought this was cool. This is military or government. This is a firefighter's field pack. And it's almost got the same kind of writing and picture of like on the uh, spear system packs the military did. Just kind of the same design, February 2000. That's around the same time the spear stuff was out. So yeah, that's interesting. Get everything there with it. Huh. Got some military shovels here too. Oh, it's a German. 
it's not a bad price. Got a British pack here as well. This is a Pack Ruck British. You got your Israeli type bandages. You got your large ones here. This insect, Permatherin insect pellant. I thought it was pretty cool as they had the US uh, space blankets. Kind of neat. Okay, here we are at the Mills Ready to Eat MRE stand. And you got your humanitarian da daily rations, $7.98. And MREs, these are the best price on MREs that I have found. Online, you're gonna spend $20 or $30. Here, they're only $14.98. And what I read, most of them are 2018, so they're still good to go. I don't know if you guys have ever seen one of these. I forgot the name of what they call these, but it's like a MR, MREs for squadrons and stuff, or platoons. But this one here, they got different mills. This one is actually a cake mill. It's cookie, chocolate, crunchy, peanut butter, or chocolate chips. That is $14.98. It's not bad at all. And they got a couple boxes there. What's that? Oh, pound, oh. pound cakes as well, which is probably the best part of MREs. <laughs> Desert MRE pound cake, so that's even better. That's a marble one. Those are good. I've had those. Two ninety eight. And then these weren't here last time I was here. We had the cold weather MREs. I can't really afford them, but I would like to get one one day. These are nice as well. These are going for twenty nine ninety eight, and these are pretty rare to come across even online. If you do find them. They're definitely expensive, but one day. So that is the MRE section. Really cool. Got a few more boxes of humanitarian there. You got your selection of knives, K bar, and got your bench made, Kershaw, all kinds of emblems and More knives here in the front. You now my favorite, cold steel. We got a few cold steels here. We have stuff back there on the top. A few more gas masks in there. I'm check out and see what that is here in a minute. Okay, compasses, Lizetta compasses. K-bar, of course, over here. A lot of K-bar stuff. And then you got some of your real issued United States military government stuff right here. You got your M9 bayonets, some seven bayonets. You got your SPACs, Ontario SPACs. And then you got right down there, put it right here. Got your US pocket knife that comes in a lot of survival kits. It'd be cool to get one one day. And all your patches and emblems and stuff. Binoculars, a little bit of everything, guys. That cold weather canteen, I'd like to have that one day. <laughs> you got some P38 can openers here, which I'm very familiar with those. I have quite a few of them. I'm sure you guys know what those are, but they have also P51 can openers, and I've never I've never heard of the P51 can openers, so that's the that's the first for me. They just got a little bit of everything over here. Got a little grenade uh, quarters locks here. Those are pretty cool. Got some frag grenade handles here. That's pretty neat. You can do a little do it yourself projects with that. A little us oh, really neat too. They got a British. I'm gonna get it out of there. British spoon and can opener. That's actually a really good idea. 
This is like right in front of the cash register and stuff, everything right here. Got some of the military goggles. And we got some, I don't know if you guys are seeing it's probably for Jeeps, but you can put all your put all your lights up there in the pouches. Looks like a casualty sleds up here. I missed a lot of stuff already. <laughs> And then we got some more MREs here on the wall. Hit cold weather, humanitarian ones. Then you got your Russian ones there. We also got all your field manuals here. I forgot to show you guys this before I was gonna head out here. I'll come back in and get a few of these actually. Just loaded with all the military field manuals. That's pretty cool, I like that. You got the big book ones and everything. Really, really neat. And over here, he was talking about a movie they're working on. That's the owner right there. And that's uh, Dolph Lundgren. So I guess there's a movie they're working on that he's going to be in it, or at least Dolph Lundgren is. So that's really neat, too. We got some more books over here. So there you guys have it, Rockford, uh, Rockford Armor Surplus. That's a really cool store. So if you guys are ever in the neck of the woods in Rockford, Illinois, check it out. There it is from the outside. It's like a, an old warehouse building right there. But um, yeah, that place is awesome. We got Miss Angel Survival over here and Michael in this helicopter. <laughs> Pretty neat. He's gonna get in it. <laughs> Alright guys, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for stopping by. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you tell the whole world about Rockford Armor Surplus here in Rockford, Illinois. And uh, we'll see you next time. God bless you guys. Take care and see you. Bye.